everybody. Today I'm going to teach you the easiest dinner you'll ever make. It's a foolproof, can't go wrong, and everybody will love it. It's um, halibut in papier, or in other words, halibut in parchment paper. Very simple. All you need is your halibut, your parchment paper. I've made this, and I'll show you how I cut it up. You just get a piece of parchment paper and you just fold it in half, fold it in half again, and then you get your corners and you just keep on folding it and folding it and folding it. Get your scissors. scissors and just basically do a little circle at the end and you've got yourself this nice little piece um, to work with you don't really have to do that I just make a square but just to make it look prettier for you guys I'll do that anyway so we're going to make a sauce that we're going to put on top of the halibut so what you're going to need is I've already gone ahead and grated some ginger and I've done some um, lime zest. Now I'm going to put some lime juice. We're going to have two tablespoons of miso. I've taught this recipe to my son and he loves it, him and his girlfriend, um, have this all the time. This is mirin, so two teaspoons. This is one tablespoon, so that's good. One teaspoon of dark soy sauce, and maybe a teeny bit more. My favorite ingredient always is sesame seed oil, so I'm gonna do one tablespoon of sesame seed oil, and one tablespoon of olive oil. Roz and I like it spicy, so I'm going to add a couple of chili peppers. You don't have to do this part, that's optional. And a little bit of pepper. I'm not going to put salt in here because I feel that the soy sauce is already um, salty enough, so we don't need to add that. So now, we whisk this all around. And that'll be the sauce that we're going to put on top of the halibut. Now this recipe, I'm using halibut, but you don't have to use halibut. You can use any type of fish you like. Whatever your um, preference, it'll work fine. And you could also do this with chicken. A chicken breast, chicken thighs. You just have to cook it a little longer. Okay, so we've got that ready. So we'll just put all this aside. So I have my halibut. I've got about six ounces, six ounces each for each piece. I'm going to do two individual pieces. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your parchment paper, put down your halibut in the middle. Here's the center line here to the parchments. So just put it up to that. And I am going to add a couple of mushrooms a few pieces of julienne yellow peppers. I have some thinly sliced carrots and some green onions. So there you go. And then on top, we're gonna put a good tablespoon, if not more, two tablespoons of our sauce that we made. And you put that right on the top. Now here's the most important part about doing um, parchment paper bundles. So when you turn it over, you really want to seal it very well because the, um, the whole way this is going to cook is through the steam inside. All this goodness that's in there, the fish and the sauce and all the vegetables, they're going to stay inside, so it's going to be really good. So I'm going to try to figure out how to do this so you can see it properly. So basically, we fold it over like that, and you keep folding it and folding it, make it really sharp folds. And you go all the way around. 
And that's the most, like I said, it's the most important part of this dinner, or this um, recipe is just making sure that it's absolutely sealed tight. And there you go. So that's our first little bundle. I'll do the next one. Get our fish. Put on our vegetables. No particular order. I did the mushrooms first before. Our uh, peppers. And our green onions. And then our sauce. So this is now, okay, again, I'm going to fold this, and I have to tell you, if you're one of these people that are afraid of cooking fish, or have cooked fish and it's, you've cooked it way too much and it's just a dried, tasteless mess, this is foolproof. You can do this for fancy dinners, regular dinners, but you'll have it ready really quickly. Now these are going to go into a 450 degree oven for about 15 minutes. Now keep in mind, depending on the size of your fish or if you're doing chicken, chicken will take longer of course, on the cooking time. But I feel at this temperature, 450 degrees, 15 minutes will be perfect. So I'll come back and show you what they look like in a few minutes. So I've just taken them out of the oven and they look great. Now there's two ways you can serve them. You can serve them right out of the package like this. All you need to do is sort of cut. Be careful when you're doing this because the steam will escape and it will burn you. And just tear it open, just like that. And you've got this beautiful bunch of goodness here. Have a little bit of rice. And I just roasted some um, broccolini here, so put in a couple of broccolini, and there you go. Your fish is cooked to perfection, and it's beautiful. You've got this beautiful sauce on the bottom. Your guests would love it. I want to make it a little more elegant, so how I would serve it is, I would get my broccolini, and put it down like that. Get my bit of rice. And then I would open up the packet and just sort of slit on the bottom. And then just slide it right on top of the broccolini. And there you go. I think that's a very beautiful dinner that I would serve to my friends, no problem. Check this out. Perfection. So this is delicious. It's my favorite way to cook fish. You can't overcook it. it, it your friends will love this if you make it for them or your family whoever. Um, I really enjoy doing this for you guys every week. I hope you're having as much fun as I am watching. Stay tuned. I'm in the process of making a website so that I could post all my recipes for you. And if you guys know what you'd like me to make, send me little notes because I, I, I need some ideas. But <laughs> stay tuned. Love you all. Share, subscribe. Ciao, be kind.